Hey everybody, it's your favorite black single mom here, Samantha the Millennial Introvert, and today I wanted to go over this story with you all that is so crazy. So this story is coming out of Connecticut. Apparently there's a, a queen, a dad from Queens who was trying to drown his two children and a cop saved the baby's lives. This is from Daily News. Let's jump right in. So an unhinged Queens dad who tried to drown his two young children at a Connecticut beach has been arrested. While the toddlers remain hospitalized hospitalized, and fighting for their lives, police said. A police officer patrolling near a West Haven, Connecticut beach heard screams coming from the water around 2.30 a.m. Saturday, police said. The officer headed down the, be- down the beach and toward the water where he spotted a man identified as Romney Desron- Desronville, age 41, and two small kids struggling. The st- officer stepped into the water while Desronville continued to drift further away with the children, all while screaming at responding officers to stay back, the West Haven Police Department said in a statement. It was obvious at this point that the male was deliberately drowning his children, the statement said. Um, Officers and members of the West Shore Fire Department rushed to the scene and waited nearly 100 yards into the water as Desmondville pulled the children further out, according to police. The first responding cop was able to grab the children, both under three years old, and bring them to shore. Medics rushed the youngsters to an area hospital where they were being treated in an intensive care unit, cops said. Charges against Desmondville, who is in West Haven police custody, are pending. Excuse me. So, this at the, at the disturbed dad's flushing apartment building on Sunday, shocked residents described Desmondville as a kind and helpful neighbor. He's a family guy said a 49-year-old neighbor who declined to be identified. He's always taking care of his family, describing Desmondville as a fantastic father to his small children. Everything's always been peaceful, the man said. This is completely out of the blue and out of character. Desmondville lived in the apartment with his wife and children, according to residents. He's a nice person, said Miguel Ruiz, age 19. He just seems very sweet and very kind. He doesn't seem like the, like the type to do that. Ruiz said... Rua said he hoped his neighbor's arrest was just a confusion on the part of police. I'm very surprised, said, Ru- said Rua. It's confusing to me because I just can't believe someone would someone would do that, especially someone like him, adding he doesn't seem like the type to do that. So, okay, this is how it always goes. Every time someone is a serial killer or they're trying to unalive their children at 2.30 in the morning, you have all of these neighbors coming out the woodworks talking about how nice this person is. First and foremost, we should know that you never really know anyone. People are married to people and don't know them, let alone like not knowing what's going on behind closed doors. Narcissists, I know, I'm not saying he's a narcissist, but I know that they are they are well known for being one person behind closed doors and being a completely different, more nicer, charming person in the public eye. So everybody's saying how nice he is. They don't seem like they're that close to him. I'm not hearing from any family members. I'm just hearing from neighbors. And neighbors usually, from some of the stories that have come out, neighbors aren't paying attention to what neighbors are doing like that, especially behind closed doors, especially when they don't have that type of relationship. Most people just mind their business and they might say hi to their neighbor. If they're lucky, they may know their names, but for the most part, people are just minding their business and staying to themselves. So everyone talking about how nice and sweet he is, it's actually pretty dangerous when people do that because it does kind of, it does what a narcissist, I'm not saying he's a narcissist, but if you are a narcissist or you're like this psychopath type person, it provides cover. It's like, oh, I am a family member. I have a wife and kids. Look at me. I am the family guy. I am not a danger to anyone, but now you're at 2.30 in the morning in the in the ocean with your kids. Like make that make sense. It doesn't make any sense sense and someone was talking about oh i just hope that it was a misunderstanding i can't i cannot understand as a mother and where was his wife while he was in the ocean with the with the toddlers two kids in the water like there literally was just a riptide that carried two grown people away actually it was two grown people two adults and two like teens who i'm assuming were probably about the same size or whatever but they're big, right? And the ocean is big. And it carried them away in a riptide. And the uh, two adults ended up dying in that water because they couldn't get out of the riptide. But the the kid, the teens were stronger, I guess, and were able to get out of it. 
So imagine being in a big old ocean with toddlers at 2.30 in the morning, how dark it is. What? And like, what mistake? Like, what he... <laughs> What could he possibly have been doing except what it looked like? Why are the babies screaming? Because they're trying to tell you. Babies have, kids and babies seem to have more sense than adults do nowadays, especially. They're trying to tell you, Daddy, this is scary. I don't know what you're doing. This don't, this don't feel right. I don't feel safe. They are toddlers. They're keeping it 100 while Dad is losing his mind. And everyone's just talking about how sweet he is and how nice he is. And I don't feel like they knew him like that. And it's funny because one person, one of the neighbors is like not even trying to say their whole name. And it's like, I bet you're not because you're saying craziness and you don't want to be putting yourself out there and maybe having people mad at you because you're just talking out, out your butt. Just admit you don't really know him, but like what I knew of him, he was like this and that. But to sit here and just be like, oh, he was a family man. You don't know what he was. Seeing somebody taking their kids to daycare or something, it doesn't make them a family anything. So anyways, let me continue. Um, so they said another neighbor said the dad was the most quiet and helpful ever. Exactly. Quiet. And those are usually the main ones you have to you have to look out for. Even doing the neighbor's laundry after she had a baby. Yeah, of course, you're so sweet to the public. So that when you do weird stuff like this, no one sees it coming because they're just like, oh, he's just such a nice person. I don't understand, said the woman. Whenever he see me, he helped me. He helped me a lot. Yeah, that's what they all, that's what narcissists do. I'm not saying he's a narcissist. That's my disclaimer, but that's what narcs do. They're super nice to everybody but their own family members. So the terrifying incident was reminiscent of a 2022 Brooklyn drowning of three children that shook the city. On September 12, 2022, Aaron Murdy, age 30, drowned her children, seven-year-old Zachary, four-year-old Liliana, and three-month-old Oliver in the surf off Coney Island police charge. The troubled woman's panic sister called 911 around 1 a.m., telling a dispatcher that the babies were gone. The Daily News previously reported, Responding officers found Murdy, wet and barefoot, wandering alone, alone along the Coney Island boardwalk, later discovering the children dead in the water. Autopsies revealed they had been drowned. <sighs> y'all, 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 y'all. I had to cover this story. Like, I just... I saw that he was black. I did when I first heard the story. I was like, "This is his name is sounding like some like he could be white, like a foreign white guy." I don't know why, but I was just like, "This just sounds so out of character for black people to be doing this." We don't, you know, because I felt like this may maybe would become a murder suicide. I felt like he was before I saw the picture of the father. I felt like this was someone who was trying to unalive his children and then he was going to unalive, unalive himself because I've been seeing so many murder suicides going on lately. But then when I saw the picture of the dad, I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's a black guy. Because we typically, black people do not commit suicide um, at nearly, I mean, it's increasing, it's increased over the years, but like we usually don't, histor historically have not been known to commit suicide at such an alarming rate compared to white people or people of other race, races and ethnicities. So let's look further into the background. So I'm wondering, like, what was his wife thinking? And just, like, what was going on with this? So here, I guess this is a picture of his car. They said they saw, like, a Nissan um, little SUV at the beach. It literally, like, he drove up on the beach with the babies. So this is a close-up of, um, I guess, like where his car was. Trying to drown his own children at a West Haven beach in Connecticut. An officer patrolling the area yesterday morning noticed a parked SUV and heard screams coming from the water. Police say 41-year-old Romney Desronville was trying to drown his two children, both described as under three years old. Desronville is charged with two counts of attempted manslaughter. The children remain in critical condition. So here it looks like this is where they are pulling the car off the beach. Um, this is this is just insane. Like, what was this guy thinking? And I'm still waiting to find his wife. Like, where is she? Okay, that's what I was wondering. Like, when I I put that in the comments on Newsbreak, like, is the mom okay? Because this is just 
crazy to me. Like, why does he have them? Is he, could he not take it? Because, you know, usually fathers are not with the kids, especially that young. Did he just snap because they were just crying too much? I just don't understand. out of West Haven. A man is facing charges tonight, accused of trying to drown his own children. Police have arrested 41-year-old Romney Disronville early this morning. An officer overheard screaming near Ocean Avenue and Dawson Avenue. When the officer arrived, he saw Disronville with the two children in the water. Officer, other officers arrived and safely got the children out of the water. They were taken to the hospital. Disronville is now facing several charges as the investigation continues. Pure insanity. Pure insanity. And last update they're saying is some is their um the children were rushed to the hospital where they remain in intensive care. But where's the mom? So weird. Okay, so I'm on Lipstick Alley now, because I know they always have insider details and this person here said they are a family member of the um about to call him a defendant but i don't i guess he is a defendant uh the perpetrator or the suspect who was trying to unalive his children in the ocean um and they're saying as a family to say that we are shocked is an understatement please pray for his children they are twins and under the age of three I wonder why they just keep saying are under three. Like, how old are they? Two? Two years old? One? Like, why not just say their actual age? It makes me feel like they're just saying what they've been hearing over and over in the art news article. But anyways, um, they said last we heard was that they are in critical condition but are improving. We are absolutely devastated. As for him, we don't know why he did this. It's so unlike him, but still, it doesn't excuse his behavior. I am truly dumbfounded. Hmm. Um, don't say y'all black or white they're black okay so the person says we are black Haitian his name is very common in Haiti I was like what kind of name is this someone said please protect those kids and don't allow them near him again don't allow him near them again um, someone else is asking, is it mental or drugs? I know you say it's unlike him, but what, which of those two do you think it is most like, it most likely is? Someone else is saying, hopefully their new families will provide them with the love and resources. He couldn't, damn shame. How do you know they they're going to new families? Anyways, people are going too far. Like, don't give these babies to no random people. We know how ghetto the adoption, the foster care system is. Like, you're lucky if your um, children, you're lucky if you're, if the children come out, you know, doing well and get some good, some good foster parents. But yeah, it's more likely that they won't. So, that's all we have on that. It's very frightening. It's, um, you know, disturbing to walk in. There's a, you know, knowing that this happened down on our beach is just very, very shocking. So all you know is they're investigating the case. They haven't mentioned the mother or where who the kids are going to be staying with. Now that their dad is in in jail. And someone mentioned they he had a wife, but where is she?
It's just awful. Thank God for that patrol officer who was there on just at the right time. Because his story could be very different if he wasn't there. So there you go, ladies. Let me know what you all think about the story. This father, I don't know if he's married or going through a divorce. I don't know what his situation is because they're not really telling us anything. I'm sure more will come out later. Especially once he goes to court, that's public. Uh, more information is going to come out. But right, as of right now, I'll keep you all updated if I hear anything else on this story. I think they're keeping it under wraps because of the age of the children is involved. <clears throat> they're trying to protect the baby's privacy, but I just wanted to, I guess I just wanted to make sure they were okay, that they're with the mom and yeah, I'm just wondering like, where's mom? Father from Queens accused of trying to drown his two small children in West Haven, Connecticut. Police say an officer spotted Romney Desronville's SUV on Dawson Avenue Beach about 2.30 this morning. The officer heard screaming coming from the water. Well, more officers and boat crews raced to the scene and rescued the children. They're both under three years old and now in critical condition, but improving. Police have not given a possible motive for what happened there. Okay. So someone said, I hope law enforcement checks on the mother of those children. I agree. Like, is she safe? Is she okay? Because what what's going on here? And then... Yeah. Yeah, someone's saying, please update their well-being when it is available. I agree. It's like I'm... This heart is just no part of the story. It's like, are they going to be okay? Who are they with now? Are they with family? We're invested, damn it. <laughs> the internet aunties and nephews. Oh my gosh. They're okay. I hope they're okay. They're just sitting in the, they're in the uh, intensive care. But this is just this just happened, so it's gonna definitely probably have to wait to get more information on this. I'm just glad that cop was there to save the baby's lives. These are the tracks from the suspect's car. Police say the suspect parked here, took the two kids, and went a hundred yards into the water. Officers were patrolling the area and noticed a vehicle on the beach. When they further investigated that vehicle, they heard uh, screams, children screaming uh, coming from the water. Police say two officers jumped into action, fighting high tides to save two children from 41-year-old Romney Disronville. They believe he was trying to drown them. And once they got the children, they formed a chain. Uh, one officer would bring it to the other one that was closest until they got both of the children back to shore. Rescue crews and other officers took Disronville into custody on the fireboat while the children were brought to land. Police say the kids, twins under three years old, were unresponsive at first. Multiple agencies quickly got them to Yale New Haven Hospital where they're in serious condition but alive. The seconds and the timing of the police officers that just happened to be driving by when this incident was occurring, it's really remarkable. The West Shore Fire Chief getting emotional, thinking about the rescue. All our police officers, all our firefighters, they're dedicated. And, uh, you know, to feel, have that helpless feeling, uh, and not be able to help a child, is terrible. Police say this is the car the suspect drove to the beach, a Nissan Rogue with a baby on board sign in the back. Officers tell us just Ronville and the children are from Queens, New York. The mother was there at the time of the attempted drowning. Police say she's now with her children in New Haven. Disronville faces two counts each of attempted homicide and risk of injury to a minor. As detectives investigate, the first responders are dealing with the aftermath of a traumatic incident. The fire chief says they're getting the help they need. Years ago, we had to keep everything bottled up inside. Uh, it didn't work very well for all of us. So uh, we're encouraging them to, uh, you know, sh 
talk to someone. Share your emotions. The city of West Haven will be honoring the two police officers who initially responded at a police commission meeting on July 16th. Their bravery and heroic actions saving two children from tragedy. In West Haven, Jane Chaco. So let me know what you all think about this story. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.